What's up guys, and welcome back to Total Running Productions, I hope you're doing well. And today we're looking at Kenanisa Bekele from Ethiopia. And in this series, we're looking at some of the greatest distance runners of all time, and we're dissecting what exactly made them so successful. For this video, we're going to do things a little bit differently. I've been wondering what exactly makes a runner great. What key factors go into the perfect hybrid distance runner? What characteristics must be present for a distance runner to be great? After a few hours of thinking, I've reached the conclusion that a great distance runner must have three vital characteristics. These three things are 1. Running economy, 2. Mental tenacity, and 3. A strong kick. In this video, and all other videos, we'll be ranking these three factors on a scale of 1 to 10. In theory, a perfect distance runner will yield a score of 30. Now, over the course of a runner's career, they certainly change their rank over different distances. For instance, Kennedy Sabakele is the current world record holder over the 5,000 meter distance and the 10,000 meter distance, but at this point in his career, he primarily runs marathons, so it's kind of different there. Because of this change in form, we will look at what each individual athlete was like at the peak of their career. Okay, enough talking. Let's get down to Mr. Kennedy Sabakele and take a look at his running. Alright, so the first video we're going to be looking at here is the 2005 World Cross Country Championships. And if you didn't know, Kennedy Sabakele was an absolute animal at running cross country. He was actually an 11 time World Cross Country Champion. And that's, that includes the short distance and the long distance. So this is the long distance race, which I believe is 12 kilometers. And in this race, you've got Kennedy Sabakele facing up against Elid Kipchoge, who you can see right there in the picture, and Zersene Tedesi is also uh, kind of lingering in the back, but at this point in the race, they're about two kilom kilometers away from the finish, and you can see Mr. Bekele uh, is just, you know, an absolute animal. He is very good at accelerating, is very good at uh, just keeping the pace, um, but his running economy is definitely something that um, is worth analyzing. So, essentially running economy is how well you use your energy and how balanced your form is so that you don't lose any energy when you're running. And basically, Mr. Kennedy Sabakele here, even through cross country, is very efficient. He's a very, uh, very efficient runner, so his running economy is very good. And one thing that I look at very frequently is this is a great side angle here, is how the timing of your arm pull and your knee drive are. And as you can tell here, it's it's pretty impressive. And right here is when he's making his move to gap Mr. Kipchoge behind him. He is very, very, very efficient. One of the most efficient distance runners, I think, ever. Um, he certainly has just a slight lean forward. Um, the one thing, the one critique that I might have is occasionally his head can bob a little bit left and right. Um, but he certainly has that very smooth cadence. He certainly has a very balanced cadence and at this point you can see him just kind of waving to the crowd he knows he has it but his cadence is it's just timed very well he also doesn't look like he foot strikes at all in fact I'm pretty sure he lands more towards his front of when he lands because he's you know I believe he's five foot five so a runner of that height certainly needs to have good form and they certainly need to have an efficient stride and um yeah, even his arms right here, you can see they don't cross over his body too much, just in front of his left and right pec, and that's exactly where you want your arms. And I believe here we'll get to see, we'll get a chance to see him coming down the home stretch in a moment, and we'll get a good, uh, I mean, this is a great view right here as well, but um, certainly a, a sort of a bouncy athlete, you know, he's got a, uh, he's got just a good, uh, good bounce on his stride, and I, that's definitely indicative of good foot placement. And this if I'm not mistaken, is the race where he lost his shoe, his right shoe. You can see there, he's barefoot. Lost his shoe, had to stop, put on his shoe again, and he still won the race. So, pretty unbelievable. Um, so, in my opinion, his running economy is very good. We'll get the, to the 1 through 10 rank at the end of this video. But the next video that I want to look at is the world record of the 10,000 meters, which he holds. Uh, and this time is 26 minutes and 17 seconds. Um, unbelievably impressive. And um, a little side note, in this race, Sammy Wanjiru actually runs under 27 minutes. I think he runs 26.40. Um, he's the 2008 Olympic marathon champion, so um, yeah, definitely a, a notable runner. But in this race, what I think is worthy of looking at his mental tenacity um, is the fact that he's solo up front, and he's still cranking out 63, 64 second laps, one after the other. And you can see there, 64 flat, a 2 minute and 40 second kilometer. 
this requires unbelievable mental tenacity. I think a, like to be in this chart, uncharted territory, cranking out 46 second laps, you definitely need to have a strong will and extreme focus. So all those things, focus, the ability to, you know, be solo when you're running and just consistently take down fast times. I mean, I'm sure he had a pacer in the beginning of this race, but this is a world record event. No one's running with him the last half of this race. Right here is the start of the last lap. Uh, you can even see he is by himself completely gapped to the field by what, why, what I would imagine is 100 meters. Definitely got a little pain in his face, but he's he's rolling right here. He's right on 57 seconds for the last lap at world record pace. Uh, I believe the world record at this time was 60 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, it's 26, 26 minutes and 20 seconds. And yet he is absolutely flying down the home stretch here. Clearly a mentally on the roads. And Kenanisa Bekele was kind of in that similar territory with Mo, kind of transitioning from the track to the roads. Um, but you can see right there, right around 10K, a little afterwards, Mo and Hailey gapped Kenanisa Bekele. And I think that's because they ran a 429 mile, followed by a 421, and then a 428. Uh, pretty quick there. But yes, this is going to be looking at Mr. Kenanisa Bekele's kick. Um, if you're familiar with his track running, he has, I mean, in that last video, you saw him drop a 57 second quarter after running, you know, six miles. Very impressive. But he's been known to drop 53s and 52s. Just amazing. But I thought this was amazing because in this video, he actually drops his kick with a mile to go. So he sort of makes that long drive towards the finish line. Kylie Gabber Selassie basically has no response, but Mo Farah just kind of hangs about 10 meters behind Bekele here. And Bekele just continues to drive and drive, and this race crescendos into a really exciting finish. So Bekele here, with his mental strength and his great running economy, has a lot of um, has a lot of gas left in his tank. Um, and so this becomes sort of a kicker's race. You know, Mo Farah also has an unbelievable kick. He's great at kicking with a quarter to go, 100 meters to go, and at this race, they both sort of, you know, drop the hammer with a mile to go. That is a long way. I don't know the, the split of this last mile, but I would imagine it's close to 420. Maybe, honestly, maybe even quicker, because they're, you can see their leg turnover is rolling here, and Bekele certainly looks like, almost like he's at a jog. His face has no pain on it, but Mo Farah back there, really working hard. And I think that speaks to the capabilities of Mr. Bekele. He's got an incredible kick. Um, I, I would recommend you watch the 2008 5,000 meter championships at the Olympics to really get an idea of how devastating Bekele's kick was over the last quarter. But in this race, this is just Bekele opening up more and more ground as time goes by in the last mile. In fact, look at Haile Gabriel Selassie in the background. I mean, they're probably 30 to 40 meters clear of him. Uh, in just over two minutes, so that's pretty unbelievable. But in in terms of how the kick begins for Mr. Bekele, most of the time I think he kicks with about a quarter mile to go, um, and they just passed the 20 kilometer mark, so they have about just under two kilometers to run. Um, and here's Mr. Mofara. He's I mean he's clearly struggling. He's he's got his legs look much heavier than Kenanisa's, but Mofara is. Uh, pretty mentally strong as well and we're about to jump forward here to about 400 meters to go maybe a little bit under um or excuse me that's uh that's a little beyond 400 meters to go but uh, here's a new scene right here and so you can tell the turnover has gone up just a little bit 400 meters to go here we are uh so this is really where Bekele's comfort zone is and the same with Mo Farah you know he's he's done that since 2012 really a uh, quarter mile to go is kind of you know all all lights are green it's time to start rolling and they certainly are here, so um, I think Bekele was under the impression he had kicked away from Mo, but right here is when they really start to just motor down, 100 meters to go. You know, you can tell they're both almost all out, but Bekele, amazingly, is looking back almost with a smile. It's kind of scary how comfortable he is with 100 meters to go and Mo far right behind him. His turnover is absurd. Mr. Bekele seemingly always has another gear, and especially in his prime, I would argue he was borderline unbeatable, so... Very uh, impressive performance from both of them, but Mr. Bekele, quite the athlete. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the time you've been waiting for. Kennedy Bekele for running economy. I gave him a perfect 10, just a beautiful stride for mental tenacity. Gotta give him a 10.
And kick, of course, he's going to get a 10. I mean, he's got just an unbelievable kick, devastating over his you know entire running career, uh, is the reason why, why he's won multiple World Cross Country Championships and multiple Olympic gold medals on the track. And, and so, honestly, I just couldn't take away any points from him. He's literally one of the perfect distance runners of all time. That's one of the reasons why he's the world record holder in the 5K and the 10K. Just just really um, kind of your ideal distance runner as far as speed goes. And, you know, I, I couldn't take any points away from him. So let me know what you think. Do you think he's a perfect 10 or a perfect 30, I guess? Um, and also, is this the perfect format to use? I mean, are there any other characteristics that are equally as important as these three? These three are certainly important, but what, what else helps someone become one of the greats, one of the championship winners in the big races? So I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Regardless, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more running content just like this, and I will see you all in the next video.